Hello, my name is Ian McCall. Let's have a little look at this case of uh, what was reported as an atypical Lentigo. You can see this lesion on a gentleman's uh, temple. It has these little variations of pigmentation within it. This has been slowly growing for about five or six years. And I've looked at it several times before, but really haven't seen any uh, anything to worry me with the dermatoscope. This time I had a look at it and I wasn't quite so sure. And also because of this variation in pigmentation, it certainly merited um, another look. This was the initial dermatoscopic view, but I think we'll go up to the larger one uh, straight away. Your differential here, you know, initially one thought this was just a solar lentigo, but the fact that it's been there for so long and it's been slowly growing should have worried it. Then you're thinking of lentigo maligna, and if you're going to try and diagnose lentigo maligna, you're going to be looking for gray circles. And the issue was, are there any gray circles um, within this? Now, sometimes you'll just get gray partial circles. I think there's certainly something happening in this area here. I'd really need to enlarge this um, even more, which I'm for, oh well, just a minute, let me just see if we can do this. I think we can enlarge it a bit. Let's just see if we can. Possibly some little gray dots in this. It's very equivocal, isn't it? I mean, there's there's no real, well, perhaps up here, some early gray circles. But um, not a lot to, to hang your head on. Hang your hat on, I should say. Let's go back and uh, have a look, make this a bit smaller. What about the histology? Let's look at some of these images. Now what you can see here are some melanocytes, these sort of cells with a halo, clear halo around about them. You can see that there isn't just one or two every nine basal cells. There's a lot more than that. A little bit of proliferation of the reti ridges uh, here, perhaps some little collections of cells at the base of the reti ridges. There's increased pigmentation here in cells uh, at the uh, reti ridges as well. And there's a suggestion of an increase in melanocytes down the edges of this, uh, this follicle. What else do we have? <clears throat> Here's another view. You can see again the proliferation of cells along here. Now this is these cells are varying in size and uh, and shape as well. So these are atypical uh, melanocytes. And they're in the lentiginous and slightly nasty proliferation in this area. A little bit of increased pigmentation of the, um, the cells around the outside of uh, this hair follicle here as well. What else do we have? Here's a close-up view of, uh, of a follicle. Now again, <clears throat> you can see the increased pigmentation here, some increase in the numbers of uh, atypical melanocytes. Again, there's really a, a sort of proliferation of them going down the sides of this, uh, this follicle as well. And you can see the cells here, some increased basal layer pigmentation. Um, we're looking for any upward spread of uh, melanocytes here, but we're not really seeing that. I must admit, I thought there was enough in this 
to make the uh, diagnosis of a, a lenticular malignant. I mean, you've got lentiginous proliferation of atypical melanocytes with some nesting there as well. And it's in uh, a sun-damaged area of the, of the face. So for me, there was enough here for, um, for a lenticular malignant, but there really wasn't enough um, for, the, uh, for the pathologist. Pathologists really felt that, um, well, she wanted to call us an atypical lentigo. Now, <clears throat> you get solar lentigos, which are, there's no increase in melanocytes in solar lentigos. You simply have an increase in melanin in the keratinocytes. You can get a lentigo simplex, which uh, will have an increase in the number of melanocytes. And of course, if they then become nested, um, you'll call that the junctional levis. Um, if the melanocytes are atypical, then generally it's called a lentiginous melanoma um, or, mel uh, or lentigo maligna, especially if there's, you know, it's on the face and there's underlying solar elastosis. So I think, uh, in essence, this is a, uh, is a lentigo maligna. I don't think it is an atypical uh, lentigo. And in point of fact, some, uh, though I haven't shown it here, some atypical melanocytes came to the edge of the shave because we shaved this off. So I think this is going to need re-excised um, and it's going to need done with probably five millimeter margins. Uh, and that'll undoubtedly end up uh, as a flap repair in this particular patient. So it's a difficult area for some pathologists. So thank you very much for that. Thank you.